Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley for those of you that might be new here and I am here to teach you all about how I run my resale business from home as a mom and I do it on the side part time and I make a full time income from it and my goal is to teach you guys how to do exactly the same thing. Today I wanted to talk about things on eBay that have sold for me really, really fast and for a great profit. And when I say fast, I mean in like a day or two, maybe up to a week, but that quickly. So I always love picking up things that I know will flip fast. That means I'm not holding on to them. I'm not storing them for long. They're moving on to their new home. I'm keeping them out of a landfill. So we all win all around. And as a bonus is from a garage sale that I picked up on the weekend. And that means I paid just a few dollars for it. And so my profit is even better because a lot of these items sold for over a hundred dollars. If you're curious about garage sales and want to learn more about how I have sold over six figures from just garage sales alone, the link is in my description for my garage sale ebook, small plug there. But let's move on. What I love about what I do is that there's just hidden gems everywhere you look and you never know what you're going to stumble upon that could sell really quickly and for great money. Let's start off with what probably is my favorite find from my recent garage sale adventures and that is a brand called Dixon. I've never heard of it before. Quickly looked it up on my phone at the garage sale, saw that comps looked really, really good. And for those of you that are new, comps just mean that I look up sold and completed listings on eBay to make sure that recent items that have been selling for that brand have been selling really well and for good money. So that's what I do. Grabbed these. I saw four of them. You guys, this is where, this is where if I could go back in time, I would slap myself across the face because I saw four of these shirts. I picked up three because I'd never heard of the brand before and I wasn't sure what it would sell for. You guys, why? I seriously wanted to die. When I got home and listed these and saw how fast they sell, I wanted to crawl into the corner of my office back there and cry in the fetal position for hours, but I didn't. But still, these shirts sell so fast. The brand is Dixon. They are flannel shirts, really well made. They seemed high quality. That's why I wanted to grab them at this garage sale. They were $1 each in a giant pile of clothing. This garage sale actually had a lot of really good stuff. I haven't even gotten done listing all of the things that I got at garage sales, you guys. I've listed about 80 things this week. I still have more behind <laughs> me that I need to get up. It's just been overwhelming. But these Dixon plaid flannel shirts have sold for almost $100 each, some well over that. This one sold today for $100 plus shipping. The same buyer bought another Dixon plaid shirt for $150. And then the third Dixon plaid shirt sold for $90. And this was the first one that actually sold for me. It sold in just a few hours and I should have held out for a higher price, but I didn't know at the time how much they were worth. I was just so excited to get $90 for these. I didn't realize that for the most part they could sell for over a hundred, but still, I'm really happy that it sold. Sold for $90 plus $5 shipping. So altogether that's over $300 for me with minimal investment, $3. Sign me up. In conclusion, give me all the Dixon flannel. I had no idea. So huge bolo, look out for it you guys. It is such a hot item. I had no idea how fast these would sell. Funny story though, the second one that I sold was returned to me. It sold for $125, it was returned to me. I was really bummed out. I relisted it for $20 more. It sold almost instantly. So <laughs> love it when that happens because then I recoup my costs and everything is all good. Nothing's more frustrating than when you sell something on eBay it's for a great price and then it gets returned. Dang it. But these sell so fast it didn't matter. So that's my whole spiel about Dixon. It is great. Definitely look out for it everywhere you go. Garage sales, thrift stores, yard, estate sales, wherever. These Tracksmith shirts as well are super, super fast seller for me. The three that I have listed have sold in a day or two. And especially this like waffle knit thermal it sold for $54 plus shipping. It's like a layering top. Tracksmith is a brand that's made in England. It's like a high-end exercise and outdoor brand. Turns out it's a huge bolo. So Tracksmith is great. I sold this waffle knit thermal, like I said, for $54. And then this women's, it's called the Harrier Crew Neck long sleeve shirt. It sold for $44 plus $5 shipping. Actually, these two shirts went to the same buyer. So super grateful for that. And again, I'm going to be sharing a lot of items here that might have been purchased by one of you. And if you bought them, thank you so much for supporting my business. It means the world to me. You guys are the best. These are some Nike high rise black Lux leggings. I have another pair in my eBay store that I think will sell pretty soon as well. And the reason I think it'll sell soon is because Khloe Kardashian wore this exact style of Nike leggings. I'll show you a picture here, but 
the ones that I did sell sold for $25 plus $5 shipping. Nike is generally a pretty fast flip for me, as long as it's a pretty recent style or something that's unique and interesting. Again, full length leggings sell a lot better for me than cropped or capri. And sure enough, these sold in just one day for $25 plus $5 shipping. Nike is just a huge bread and butter item for me. I pick it up all the time and it sells relatively quickly. This is a Lululemon skirt. It is the Pace Rival 2 skirt in white. Had no stains, looked flawless. Again, this was sent to me by my friend Colin in Texas and it sold almost instantly for $40 plus $5 shipping. So I love Lululemon. You guys know that. Um, I think this is a more recent style as well. So that's probably what contributed to it selling more quickly. But yeah, definitely a huge bolo. I will say for Lululemon, certain styles just sell better for me than others. The skirts sell pretty well. The shorts, generally the, the newer styles for sure, the high rise items sell really, really well. So the higher the rise, the better. If it's a more low rise, kind of that cottony stretch fabric. It just doesn't always sell as well for me, so that's kind of just a heads up. But still, do I pick it up anyway? Yes. <laughs> this chaser tee sold really quickly. It was $25 plus $5 shipping. I picked it up for $1 at a yard sale, and it has the Texas Longhorn American flag pick on it. Super cute graphic burnout tee. When a tee or a graphic tee has kind of an almost see-through velvety texture, that's called burnout, so that's just a keyword to look for. If you guys want me to do a full video on keywords and styles for you, please leave a comment comment down below and I will do that. I think it might be helpful, especially for newer sellers who aren't sure what keywords to use. But yeah, this was a great flip. Chaser is a graphic tee brand that retails for around $60 per shirt. So it's always a pretty quick flip for me at around $25 to $30. This is a Lululemon Rejuvenate dress. Lululemon dresses, you guys, are a huge, huge bolo. Some of the other dresses that I've sold have taken closer to a month to sell, but for a really good price. So this sold for $50 plus $5 shipping. It was only $3 at a yard sale. So definitely a huge pickup if you can find Lululemon dresses especially. Ones that I've sold in the past have sold for well over $100. And likewise, these Lululemon Ohm pants that I mentioned from my, re my most recent video about garage sale finds. I found this at a garage sale for $3. It sold for $50 plus $5 shipping. Great flip. And I think one of you mentioned that you watched my videos. So if you bought it and you love it, I hope you do. Thank you so much for supporting me. But yeah, these were way cute, high-waisted, loose fit, really unique. When I felt them and grabbed them, I knew that they were special. And I'm especially glad that they get to go to one of you guys to enjoy. This is a rag and bone extra large Phoenix dress. It's a maxi dress sleeveless. Picked this up at a yard sale for $3 and it sold for $65 plus $5 shipping in just one day. Super fast flip, really, really cute. Rag and bone can be hit or miss for me. It depends on the style, it depends on what it is, but I got lucky with this dress and it sold really fast. So I always pick up rag and bone regardless, but maxi dresses, the Dre fit jeans, high-waisted jeans, those all sell really well for me. The more basic tops and shirts, are a little more hit or miss. This was probably my favorite garage sale find in a long time. This is a vintage Patagonia Pataloha fly fishing graphic button down shirt. And it was so unique, so crazy. I was so excited to find it. Vintage Patagonia does really well. And on the tag, it said it was from 1993, you guys. So 27 years old. That makes me feel really old. <laughs> Um, but yeah, super old vintage tee. It was in flawless condition, really beautiful. I didn't see a ton of comps for this, so I priced it high. It sold in one day for $110 plus $5 shipping, and the buyer left me positive feedback. So it is amazing. Pat Aloha is something to definitely look out for. It is just more rare, more unique of a Patagonia item, and I've found just two in my reselling lifetime and they've both sold really well and really fast especially this i don't think i've ever had a patagonia shirt sell for this much so huge win for me really exciting and again it was only three dollars <laughs> this tesla embroidered jacket sold for 75 dollars plus five dollars shipping this is another yard sale find it sold in one day very very quickly tesla's just like a really hot company right now, really popular. I just knew someone who loves Teslas would love this jacket. Actually, the yard sale I got it at was from an employee of Tesla who was selling a lot of his stuff. So grabbed this jacket. It was definitely worth it. I did pay up. I paid 20 bucks for it, but still definitely worth it when it sells in one day for $75. These mother jeans sold in just a few days for $54 plus $6 shipping. Mother is a huge bolo brand. They sell really, really well for me. It's a designer jeans brand and especially their high-waisted skinny jeans. They sell really, really well. High-waisted everything is just super in right now. So if you ever find it, jeans, leggings, whatever, definitely a hit. And 
With mother jeans, a really easy way to see what style it is is just right on the inside pocket. It tells you. So this told me it was the high-waisted looker jeans and it was in Strange Brew Dark Wash. So again, I looked that up and they sold really fast. Super thrilled with that. This Diane Von Furstenberg dress, I think was purchased by one of you guys. It was sold for $35 plus $5 shipping. It sold in just a day. Diane Von Furstenberg is a little more hit or miss for me. Sometimes it just sits for a long time. Yes, it's a designer brand and it like retails for a ton of money, but I am more cautious when I pick it up these days because I'm not expecting like a ton of money out of it unless it's like really recent or a really unique print. This was just a very basic black dress in like a jersey material. It was really cute and it was more recent, which made me happy. So anyway, it sold for $35 plus $5 shipping really quickly. I think pricing your items well is a kind of key with eBay. If you price really, really high expecting more money, sometimes it can just take forever for your items to sell. So based on my past experience, I try to price pretty reasonably, never the lowest. I never price my items the lowest, but I price it a decent amount unless it's a rare piece like that Pat Aloha shirt where I don't know what comps necessarily look like and I don't really know the value right away. I will price higher because then I can at least always come down and then it's not like, selling for $20 and it could have gotten like $100 more. That's happened to me in the past. So it's better to err on the side of caution for sure, but just be careful with certain designer brands like Vince, Diane Von Furstenberg. They still sell for me. I do pick them up, but they don't sell for anything usually more than 25 to 35, maybe 40, $50 if you're lucky. This is an Elizabeth and James silk shirt. It's sold in just a couple days for my full asking price of $25.99 plus $5 shipping. Elizabeth and James is Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen's company. It recently, I think, sold out to Kohl's, so I expect resale value to continue to go down. They do have another luxury brand called The Row, Mary-Kate and Ashley do, and those are super high-end items, so I very much doubt that I'll ever come across one of those. Elizabeth and James is their lower end line, and I don't know that I'm gonna be picking it up from here on out. I kind of got lucky with this blouse. I did sell a pair of their jeans for around $15 plus shipping a while ago, so just not the greatest resale value, I think, anymore because of that sell to Kohl's and because Kohl's is now carrying their line. This is a Lululemon Ujjayi Blue Power Y Tank with Manifesto print. It's sold in just a couple days for $25 plus $5 shipping. Again, I think one of you guys picked it up. If you did, thank you so much. But this was again at that yard sale. It was just a couple dollars. And Lululemon tanks can be a little more hit or miss for me, but when it's got the manifesto print on it and it's more unique, I will pick it up. And sure enough, this sold for a decent amount. And again, at yard sales and garage sales, I'm generally picking things up for just a few dollars. So of course, I'll buy things that I maybe wouldn't normally buy at, let's say, like the thrift store. If they're marking up Lululemon, I really wouldn't pick this up. But because it's just a few dollars at a yard sale, of course, I'm going to grab it. And then I sold this Free People Oversized Pullover hoodie. I actually wore this in a recent video. <laughs> and sometimes, like you guys know, I go shop in my eBay store for just a second because I wear, like, I have no clothes of my own. Just straight up, I sell everything that I have pretty much. But I went ahead and I picked something out of one of my bins and threw it on for a video and it sold that next day. So I think I should definitely showcase more of my inventory in my videos that might help with my sales. Um, but I don't know if there's a correlation. Maybe someone just randomly found it the next day. I don't want to say that that definitely was the case, but it was really cute regardless. And I'm really glad it sold for $30 plus $6 shipping. Again, free people, the sweaters, the dresses, the looser fit boho items tend to do a lot better than their very basic like shirts or even tank tops. So just a side note on that. One way that you can find what the style name is for a free people item is if you look on the inside tag and if you go to the very bottom and you find a style number starting with OB and then a bunch of numbers, look that up on Google, Google images, free people, OB, all those numbers. And sometimes not all the time. And that style number isn't on every tag. So just kind of a warning, but if you do find it, it will pull up the name and style of the item. So that really helps with selling it. All right, you guys, that does it for me today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate you all. Again, I got 
a lot of these items at garage sales, that last Free People shirt included, um, it was hanging up at a garage sale. <laughs> And I always look through everything, all the racks, all the clothing, and sure enough, it was there. If you're interested in how I find the most profitable garage sales, the best items, what I look for, over 150 bolos, check out my ebook below. It goes into detail about everything, and I have a money back guarantee. If you don't learn from it, you can just get your money back. So, win win all around. Again, I appreciate you guys. I hope this helped you see what sells really fast for me on eBay. Like and subscribe to my channel, you guys. It really helps me a lot. Comment down below. Tell me what kind of videos, what content you want. I'm going to suddenly have a lot more time in the future because my kids are starting school. This is the first time I'll have like hours and hours to myself to really focus on my business. So I plan on putting out a lot more content for you guys. So if you have content ideas, put them down in the comments below. Let me know. I would love to do it for you. And again, thanks you guys. I appreciate you. As always, take care and I will catch you next time.